Hi there, Brett Winterford here from IT News. We're very proud to announce that Australia's best news source for all things enterprise IT, IT News, are very soon going to be practicing what we preach with the launch of IT News Labs. So our team of journalists backed by technical advisors have been engaged in independent testing of the latest enterprise software to hit the market. What we're launching is pretty much the first unbiased assessment of the features of enterprise software ever produced specifically for an Australian audience. It's the latest stake in the ground in terms of our commitment to the local industry. Here you can see myself, Yuha Saarinen and Ray Young installing our servers, switches and storage. We're especially grateful to our friends at HP who provided us some hardware both powerful and flexible enough to host this variety of software. What we've installed so far is two DL380P servers, two HP HP Store Virtual 4330 storage arrays and two HP ProCurve 2920 switches on which we're conducting our tests. And we're making full use of the ILO features of the DL380s, which that, that enables our team to log in from just about anywhere, wake up our sleeping servers and run the new workloads. So over the coming months, expect the latest server operating systems, databases, PC fleet management software, analytics and all kinds of other business software to be put under the critical eye of IT News Labs. What's the catch, you ask? Why go to all the trouble? Well, to read the results of any of our tests, we kindly ask that you're a registered subscriber to IT News. You can subscribe for free from our homepage. I look forward to hearing your feedback and hope you'll find Labs an important resource into the future.